G'day guys and gals, welcome to another game of Vids Vidya. Uh, in this one, we are going to be covering how to mod Skyrim in 2021. Um, this is a beginner's guide. This is aimed at the beginner, someone who has no modding experience whatsoever. So if you do have experience, check the link below. There will be a link to a short version of my videos. Otherwise, uh, if you're a beginner and you have no idea what to do, keep watching. I'll go through it step by step. Uh, in this episode, we are going to install a mod and a patch. Uh, now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to find mods and all that. But for this video, we're going to go to our Nexus Mod Manager website when you log in. You'll be greeted with this page. We want mods for Skyrim Special Edition. So we're just going to click on that right there. And come up to the search. And we're going to search for Sky UI. Now, what this mod does, Sky UI, uh, what this mod does is it overhauls the uh, user interface as well as it includes a very important tool called MCM, which is Mod Configuration Menu. Um, not a lot of mods, well not all mods I should say, but a lot of mods do require or use MCM for you to change things, make adjustments, or just set the, game, uh, set the mod up correctly for your particular game. So again, come here. I recommend reading it. There's nothing really here to read. Requirements. It requires SKSE 64, which we installed in the last video. If you missed that, go check it out. I'll walk you through how to install this as well as set up Vortex. Okay, what we're going to do is come over to Files, and just like before, we're going to download with Nexus uh, with the Mod Manager download tool. Click that. It pops up with a little alert saying that we require this file in order to use the file that we're trying to download. That's okay, regardless of whether you have this installed or not, this is going to pop up. This is more of a reminder just saying, hey guys, just so you know, you need this. If you don't have it installed, click this link here and we'll get started. But we've already got that, so we're just going to hit download. It's going to redirect us to this page again. We're going to hit slow download and in a few seconds it will start. So now we can minimize this. It's downloading. The download has finished. We're going to come over to our mods and we're going to install it by clicking never installed. It will now do the installation. Installation is done. We're going to hit the key that says disabled which will enable it. And it's done. It's installed, ready to go. It is quite literally that simple. Now the next one we're going to download is the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. Okay, now that we're at the home page for it, we're going to come down and just as before, you should give everything a read. Check out the requirements, make sure you've got whatever's required. But for the sake of time, we're going to come over here. We're going to download this with the mod manager. Click that, just like before. Click that, it'll start downloading in a few seconds. Uh, you can always check the progress of your downloads over here. So this is currently downloading. And then when it's finished downloading, it will just straight up drop it into here. And there you have it. It's finished downloading. We come over here and just as with the other ones, we're going to hit that one. We're going to hit that one. It's going to install it. Auto deploy if you've got auto deploy set up. And that's it, you're done. Sky UI has been installed, the patch has been installed. Now, just a bit of a recap here with this patch, it fixes a lot of issues. Now, 
these mods that we're installing now, these are all going to be core mods that I personally wouldn't play Skyrim without. So it actually tells you, if you're interested in, as to what it does, they give you a lot of information here as to what everything does. So we're going to go into plugins and yep, it's enabled. Now if you come over here and with fins, uh, SKSC, unofficial patch, if any of these look like that, all you have to do is click on it and it will re-enable the patch or plugin. And with that, we're done. All we have to do now is go in game and check it out. With that, I will meet you in game. And here we are in game. Uh, currently in Riverwood, one of the well, the starting settlement or town that you go to in Skyrim. So first up, we'll check out the inventory, and I'll do a side by side. But as you can see, it looks very different. In addition, one of the additional features of this is in the vanilla, if you read a book, you essentially have to remember if you've read the book or not. Whereas with this one, once you've read a book, it puts a little eye icon on the end, letting you know that you've read that book before. So it just makes life a lot easier. All your keys are in one spot, your miscellaneous items, so your keys are no longer mixed in with anything. All your ingredients, your food, scrolls, which this character doesn't currently have any, potions, armor, weapons, that's everything. And they're all the things that you have hit as favorites. Um, it has a search feature, so you can just go click everything, go, okay, um, what bows do I have? It brings up a list of the bows from this character at the moment. There is only one, and it's the longbow. But it just makes life so much easier, or in my opinion anyway, it makes life so much easier. Now in the options, you can change all this so you can have a vanilla looking Skyrim if you want. Like when it comes to the user interface here, that's entirely fine and that's entirely up to you. One of the biggest reasons why you'd want to get this mod though is for this option right here. Come over to system and then just down near the bottom here you have mod configuration this is the MCM menu that I was talking about before uh, as you can see Sky UI is already in here so this is where you would go to change any settings configure it the way you want and all that good stuff uh, but other mods like the uh, next mod one of the next mods will be installing uh, which is immersive HUD that also has an MCM menu where you can configure everything about it but uh, that is this is one of the main reasons why you'd want to install sky ui if for no other reason than just so you have an easier time with other mods later on okay and with that we're going to go back to the desktop here we are back on the desktop back in vortex um so just to recap, in this episode we have installed and checked out Sky UI and we have installed the Skyrim Special Edition patch. Uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions for mods you would like to see installed, please leave a comment down below. Uh, like, subscribe the video, all that good stuff. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Remember, mod the games that you want to mod the way that you want to mod them. But don't forget to have fun. Bye!